Hello friends, I have already done one uh, video on Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. I think two videos I have done. Um, whether in YouTube or not, I don't remember. But one video I, uh, I have already done on Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. So, Dharma is not religion. I have already explained. Dharma is fulfilling duty towards others. Whatever duty you have uh, to perform um, for your family, for your friends or whatever, that is Dharma. Artha is uh, money, you understand. Dharma, Artha, Kama, that is desire, fulfilling of the desire, that is Kama. And Moksha. Moksha means you understand. Moksha means meeting God, that ultimate truth. Uh, and there is some explanation of Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha that uh, if you are ascendant Lord or your uh, moon, if you are ascendant Lord, if you are ascendant, your moon Lord or moon uh, sits in uh, which house, Dharma, Artha, Kama or Moksha? Which house means? That is one kind of explanation. Like we know that all the fire signs are Dharma. Like Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. All these three fire signs are Dharma signs. And then Artha. What is Artha? All the earth sign. Like Taurus, Virgo and uh, Capricorn. These three are Artha sign. So for earning money. And after that Kama, fulfilling of the desire, all the air sign. So the air signs are Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And after that, Moksha signs are all the water signs. That is the Cancer, uh, Piscean and Scorpio. So in your own horoscope, in your own horoscope, in our own horoscope, Dharma sign. Dharma means the first, fifth and ninth house. These three are the Dharma house. Then Artha house is second, sixth and tenth. Then uh, Kama house is third, seventh and eleventh. And Moksha house is fourth, eighth and twelfth. So we all of us know that eighth house and twelfth house, these are uh, two dangerous houses which gives us... Uh, many kind of trouble and loss and all. so moksha you, you cannot like moksha means meeting god in person so meeting god in person will never happen without pain if you tolerate if you suffer a lot only then you can meet god in person so these are two kind of expansion of dharmata rama and moksha Na, third one is when the first pada of any of the nakshatra is dharma pada then second one, Artha, third one, Kama and fourth one is Moksha. So these are the things. Now the Dharma uh, sign, that is the fire sign. All the three fire signs, the Aries, uh, Leo and Sagittarius. What is the middle nakshatra? Middle nakshatra is Bharani. Lord is Venus. Exactly like that in Leo, it is Purfalguni. That is Venus. Sagittarius, it is Urvashara, that is also Venus. So, Dharma, Middle, Nakshatra, Lords are Venus. So, Venus is the one which makes us Dharmic. Res uh, dharmic means fulfilling our duties. And Venus is Karaka of love also. Love not only to your husband or wife, love to everyone, everyone possible. Like it can be your relative, it cannot be, it can be your friend, cannot be, it can be any Tom, Dick and Harry. Like a stray animal also you are showing your affection. It is, it will come under dharma. Means you are fulfilling your duty. You feel like you have some duty uh, to serve a stray animal. So that, that is dharma. And artha. All the artha houses, that is the earth signs are having central... Uh, one minute. All the artha houses... Uh, that is Taurus and uh, Virgo and um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. These three uh, art signs, these three art signs have 
the middle nakshatra lord as moon so it is rohini for uh, taurus and it is hasta for virgo and in capricorn it is shravana so all these three lord are uh, moon so moon is karaka for business and moon controls money after that uh, kama so all the three kama houses uh, kama signs are like the air signs like gemini and um, gemini libra and gemini libra and aquarius so the middle nakshatra of gemini middle nakshatra of gemini is ardra that is rahu middle nakshatra of uh, libra is swati that is also rahu middle nakshatra of uh, middle nakshatra is satyadisha for aquarius so all the na- rahu nakshatras are desire desire to have everything possible on this earth that is uh, all the rahu nakshatras give the desire and after that all water sign that is the cancer uh, scorpio and pisces all these three water signs in the middle nakshatra of all the water sign is governed by saturn so pushya is saturn and then uh, anuradha is saturn and then what uttar bhadrapada is also saturn so venus is dharmakara moon is arthakara venus moon and then uh, rahu is kama desire kara and then who is moksha kara saturn and saturn is the judge so previous uh, in the previous video i told na be judgmental if you are not judgmental everybody is doing everything wrong and you are not being judgmental to anyone means your saturn is not good if your saturn is strong you will be affectionate towards everyone that does not mean that you will not be judgmental so be judgmental and embrace moksha bye have a nice day